Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, with a follow-up on energy. And uh, that, is, see, I, I, everybody was having a hard time understanding how do things invade other people or, or other electrons regions. I, th I think of everything as people. <laughs> and I discuss things with the, you know, what is this guy going to say to this guy? And who, what are they going to say to this guy? That's how my mind works. So when I say people, I, I, I mean things. Now, what you have literally is a bunch of balloons. That's all they are is balloons. There's a particle in the middle, but for some reason, and I at this point cannot absolutely state why, but these particles in the center create these fields that surround them just literally like they were a balloon. But there doesn't appear to be anything out here other than some form of, of, of radiation from this point out. That's all I can say. I don't know what it is that creates these circular patterns other than that they, they polarize things that are in the air. But when you get down to this size, there shouldn't be anything left to polarize. But it, somehow they do because I can see them polarizing when they come out of the accelerator down to such tiny little places that there must be just a literal matrix of particles that surround everything, you know, the ether. But they must be so tiny that they must be even tinier than the electrons that that make the ether surround them. That's all I can tell you. Now, but I do understand once we get to this point how it does work. Now, this is the core. Everybody calls that the nucleus. I'm going to call it the core so we don't get in neutrons and nucleus because I'm going away from neutrons. This is the core. It is positive charges with uh, nothing more than negatives slapped into them so hard that they are stuck in a ball called, formerly, a nucleus, now called a core. That core is solid as a rock of positives attached to negatives. Now, what happens then? There is so much invasion of the negatives against the positives that at some point it exceeds the capability of these to hold on to them anymore. Then they form rings around the core. And these rings are nothing like a balloon sitting there, a balloon sitting here. It, it touches here, it touches here, it touches here, it touches here. These are all the balloons. Now, what does that mean? Well, it, that's a particle. That's, a, that's a, 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 an atom. Right? An atom has all of these electrons surrounding a core, which is they used to call a nucleus. Now, so there's no neutrons. Forget the neutrons. Just drop them out of your mind. They're gone. Nothing is neutral ever, ever, ever was. You can't show me a neutron rolling around the floor. Nobody ever has seen one. Forget them. They're just nonsense. And there is always at least as many what they would call neutrons in the core as there is protons. So they always at least equal each other. That's why they, they come to an excess and that is what holds these in their orbits. It's as simple as that. Now, I'm going to show you what happens as more and more and more try to invade this. At some point, this attraction to the core will no longer be felt by the incoming electrons and they just sort of drift around and they float around in the ether. But when you get light coming in very hard, light comes in and it's coming in just like one of these. Bang! What's going to happen? It's going to force into that region. This is going to come into this region. That's going to come. In. It's going to bounce it back out. And at the same time, this is going to jiggle and turn into heat. It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. As simple as that. Electrons bash into other things and there is nothing, zero, zero matter that is not coated with electrons. Every, uh, every positive particle will be completely surrounded by electrons. There is so much ether, and that is what moves in electricity. It moves through wires, it's light, it's heat, it's cold, it's every single electronic interaction. It's sonoluminescence, it's chemistry, it's, it's biology, it's lightning, it's, uh, it's everything that there is. It's everything there is. All right? So, all C's, which are these, which is the cores, are coated with E's, which are the electrons. All electrons 
surround all cores. So, what does that tell you? Electrons can be free in the air, that's light. And they're going to be attracted to this because this is a core which will attract, even though there's plenty here, it will still try to attract and they'll sort of accumulate around the outside. Not securely like these, but they will come around because everything that has a positive, like the earth, pulls every single thing else because it pulls everything that has negatives and anything that is complete has negatives and anything that is light has negatives and anything that is electricity has is negatives there is nothing that does not contain negatives right do you understand that nothing does not contain negatives every single thing there is has negatives because every single positive is surrounded by them and every single negative is a negative there's your gravity the positive sucks these in it sucks these in too it sucks the other things in that have these and have cores everything is attracted to everything strictly because negatives are attracted to positives and every positive is surrounded by negatives negatives can float free float freely float freely through space all right just like this they come off of the earth i mean they come off of the sun because they're so violated smashing each other little balloons and they bounce and, bloop, and they come flying across and then they smash into the earth where they see it as light and heat and electricity case closed all right as we all know that if you really want truth you have to go to a toy manufacturer now this is Latham's crazy machines. They're like toys. What he's showing here is three big magnets with an inverter direction in the center. So he's got a positive and he's got a negative. All built into the same thing. It's not just one or the other. So let's see what happens here. This is very cool. I love these guys. <laughs> now watch this. Boom, there's your electron stuck just exactly what I'm saying. It's like a balloon surrounding it, and that one has a balloon forcing it there. Because this, no, let me just stop it for one second so we can understand this. This is the electron. Boom, it's slugged up to the core, which is formerly a nucleus. Why? Because the nucleus core has both positive and negative. Therefore, it says, give me that thing, and the other one says, oh, no, 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 no. See there, I'm talking to myself again. You stay out of there, man. You can only come that far. And he said, well, I want to come in there. He said, no, no, no. And he said, well, what do I do out here? He said, you got to stay there. He said, well, what, I'm going to live out here? Yeah, that's it. You stay there forever. You're just stuck there forever. He said, well, what if somebody comes in? He said, well, you tell them to stay just exactly there, and the next guy goes over here, the next guy will go over here. Just line them up, just like when I was in the Army. Dress it up and cover down, 30 inches all around. That's the Fort Dix boogie. What a crazy sound. Now, you got your 30 inches all around. Well, what if another one comes in? He says, I want 30 inches. We'll bang them out there. So now, now one comes in at about 150 miles an hour, and he says, hey, get out of my way. I'm coming in. And they start shaking like crazy, and one of them will go bouncing off and turn into light. Now watch, this is exactly what he's going to demonstrate, heat and light. All right, there's your just standard stuff, just laying around, just having a nice time. And then he says, whoa, 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 it's getting hot in here. Oh, man, it's getting hot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we got stuff coming in here, bouncing me all over the place. And he says, well, I'm, I'm just steaming, man. i got to get out of here. Whoop, there he goes. He says, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to leave. He says, no, I'm not, no, 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 I'm going to leave. Ah, boom, 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 get out. There he goes, light. Now, get your little self on up here to Mud Fossil. University and sign up. We are rocking the world. I'm telling you right now, we're rocking it. 30,172. 30, Yesterday, we were under 30,000. We are rocking, baby. Now, sprites. This is another thing. They don't understand that. You got to come up here and learn. Learn, learn, learn. You got your sprites. You got candle invading each other's region. The balloons are pushing against each other's balloons. CERN asked for neutrinos. They asked for Higgs bosons. We got them. We got all over those Higgs bosons. John Glenn want to know about fireflies. We know about fireflies. You got to come up to Mud Fossil University and learn all of this stuff. About Higgs, I mean, we, we, as far as I'm concerned, they validated everything we said. They asked, we delivered. Come up to Mud Fossil University, learn reality.